come back to me and forever in my arms to always be and in the quiet I hear you speak I have no interest in the past and what you did together. Dear Father, we lift all our rulers, the Prime Minister, the Menteri Basar to you. Give them wisdom to lead the country that it may prosper in every area. Thank you for favour before the authorities and neighbours. We praise you for the profuse favour, protection, good health and wisdom upon all our church family members giving us a special covering and shelter against all viruses and evil. We believe for the press shaken running over increase in the businesses of our people. We don't fear what the world is fearing, but believe in the betterment of the country and that our children have a very good future here. Thank you for anointing our lead Pastor Joshua and Pastor Carrie with the wisdom to lead this church Bless and protect them and their family members. Thank you for blessing and anointing all our pastors, leaders and staff, that they may flow with one heart and vision in our core values and culture. Empower us to experience signs and wonders and to see souls safe in every gathering and care meeting. We call in people and finances, in heights and offerings and the miracle seed that your people may shine with great abundance. We pray for all our mission partners, protect and bless them with the favour and anointing to fulfil their calling. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Won't you, Lord, take a look at our hands Everything Take a look at our hearts Mold it, refine it As you set us apart We want to run to the altar And catch the fire To stand in the gap Between the living and the dead Give us a heart of compassion
and develop the fruit of the Holy Spirit with us. But the fruit of the Holy Spirit naturally grows as our root is Christ Center! <laughs> Matthew 13 But the seed falling on good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understands it. This is the one who produces a crop, yielding a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. Jesus said crops multiply when it is on good soil. With just one seed, when a person is fed with a 100% Christ-centered, grace-focused word, he will yield 100 fruits. Wow! Healthy fruits must have healthy roots. And to have healthy roots, you must have to have the seed in good soil. Colossians 2 And now, just as you accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord, you must continue to follow Him. Let your roots grow down into Him and let your lives be built on Him. Then, your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught and you will overflow with thankfulness. Our roots must grow in Christ-centered soil. It's very important to feed ourselves with words and messages that are 100% Christ-centered. Especially some of you who are going overseas to study next time, find a church where um, the Christ is 100% it is hundred percent Christ-centered throughout the whole time. From the worship to the messages to everything, don't find a church that, you know, that it's all the music is nice, they're cool light and sound, but it is not focused on Christ. We need to find a church and um, work, uh, feed ourselves with words that are 100% Christ-centered. Because sometimes people can say, Oh, you should do this for God. You should do that. Oh, you're not doing enough for God. Well, that becomes a me-centered soil. In a relationship between God and us, the me-centered soil removes the focus from Jesus and becomes all about us. Hey, I got pendant for you. Thank you, boy. I've been so good to you from now on. I will bake for you all the cookies and cakes that you want, just so that I can pay back what you gave me. But hey, I gave you to do not do anything for me. I gave you because I love you. Oh, thank you, boy. Some people have the idea that yes, Jesus saved me because he loved me and that is grace. They started out with grace, but suddenly they can't focus on work. Oh, Jesus saved me. That means I must show God how good I can be and follow all his laws so that he will love me more. God don't want us to do things because we are being forced to or because we felt guilt guilted into doing something like Emmanuel doesn't want to play with me. Doesn't want to play with you. Emmanuel? Yes? Why don't you want to play with your sister? Shall we play Chinese checkers? But I want to play cards. Please, I can't play this alone. No. Please, no. Don't play cards, I'm not playing with you. Okay, next time this is how you should play. Think of a game both of you would want to play. But when you threaten him, it just makes him do what you want him to do and not what he wants to do. Because he has to do it. Capish? Do you want to play superheroes? <laughs> okay, sure! Well, God wants us to be transformed from the inside out, not doing things just because we have to, but because we want to. And I thought, oh, I must do great things for God, then only God will love me. But 
Romans say, God, but God, uh, Paul said in Romans, but God demonstrates His love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So God's love for us is not based on what we can do for Him or how much we're going to sacrifice for Him. It's a transformation that comes from the inside out and not something that we are forced to do. Apple seeds that are planted in good soil develop strong roots and they start to grow and grow and develop into flowers and fruits. Throughout an apple's lifetime, the root provides nutrients to the apple from the soil. An apple fruit does won't suddenly decide, oh, I feel bad that I'm taking nutrients from uh, the soil to grow. So maybe I think I should use my own nutrient to grow so that I don't trouble the soil. Well, if the apple does that, it will wither in the end because it keeps taking its own nutrients to grow. An apple needs to take nutrients from the soil to grow. Romans 11 reminds us that the branches do not support the root, but the root supports the branches. So the fruit of the Holy Spirit growing in us must be rooted in Christ, Christ-centered soil. And Ephesians 3.20 said, Now all glory to God, who is able through His mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. As we rest and read God's word and listen to messages and songs that are 100% Christ-centered, Christ-focused, totally on Jesus, we are reminded that, hey, our relationship with God is not based on how good we are, how much we love God, how much we're going to sacrifice for God. It is fully based on who Jesus is and how much God loves us. Totally Christ-centered, fully Christ-focused. And the more we rest in His love for us, the fruit of the Spirit is developed into strong, healthy, nutritious fruits with strong roots based on Jesus. Well, with a me-centered relationship, I feel guilty because God loves me and is so patient with me. Why am I not more loving and patient with other people? But God doesn't want us to have a relationship based on guilt and do things based on guilt. God wants us to do things naturally because we want to and because it comes out naturally from us as the Holy Spirit develops the fruit of the Holy Spirit in us. Listening to messages and reading words that are 100% Christ-centered reminds us of Jesus, the great I Am. In Christ, I am loving. In Christ, I am joy. In Christ, I am at peace. In Christ, I am patient. In Christ, I am kind. In Christ, I am good. In Christ, I am faithful. In Christ, I am gentle. In Christ, I have self-control. Let's pray, Heavenly Father. Thank you for sending Jesus down to die for our sins. And thank you for blessing us and for loving us so much. Heavenly Father, we claim all the promises that you have for us, your divine protection, your um, deep love, your great blessings and favor and wisdom that you, are good, that you have poured out to us and are going to continue to pour down on us. And Heavenly Father, um, teach us more things as we go deeper into the Word of God. And Open up our hearts and minds to receive what you have for us. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Crops multiply when it's on good soil. Which is one seed. Which is one seed. Which is one seed.